I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Well, hi everybody. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon, and I have the house to myself for a, a little while. And I thought I would uh, bring you another video. What you're seeing here is something hidden under the blanket. What is it? Well, I thought I would increase the surprise uh, threshold by covering up the subject of my video. <clears throat> so let's pull it off and see what we have. It's something that I don't think any of you or very few of you have ever seen before. This is a machine, an extremely early phonograph that was handmade, every bit of it, by one man back in about 1898. You can see that it, the, it's in a mahogany uh, cabinet that was homemade. It has what looks like a Class M, Edison Class M, uh, governor and works. And then we have an extremely early looking uh, Standard Model A, Edison Standard Model A. Again, this is this was not. Neither one of these were made by Edison. Uh, these were all hand forged by the person that built this. Obviously, the Edison. Uh, I put an Edison Model C reproducer in here from about. You know, these are from maybe 1902 or so. Uh, that's the only thing that I added to this. It originally came with the, oh, the sun's going in and out here, so the, I apologize, the, the lighting is changing. Yep, there's the sun's back in now. And uh, this originally had an automatic reproducer from the uh, late 1800s. Anyway, so there's a number of differences and changes and uh, just interesting things about this. Uh, you can see that he added some... Uh, hand uh, scroll work here which was interesting this is the on off switch governor of course it's a two ball governor and it is uh, vertical as a class M would be uh, so this is the uh, the pulley that connects from the motor which we'll look at later to the uh, to the governor and uh, it has a solid brass cylinder mandrel here and it weighs about four pounds very very uh, heavy but true running and again handmade this was handmade all this was handmade okay so um, when we come back we're going to uh, take a little bit more uh, better look at the underside uh, of what makes this special early electric cylinder phonograph operate okay so see you in a couple seconds okay we're back again and of course the blockhead that I am I forgot to turn on the uh, auxiliary lighting here that I have for all of my videos so now we'll be able to see a little bit better the top works with the auxiliary lighting that I just uh, activated. So this is kind of what the top works look like. You can see a little bit better of the, the detail that you couldn't see with the lights off. Okay, so let's go to what I was saying. I've, so I've removed here, you can see the uh, this entire works sets into this ancient handmade mahogany cabinet and uh, oh boy just a minute please I've got to unhook this light there this will uh, 
sorry about the this will give you an idea what the underworks look like it's basically an early Edison fan motor uh, Graham ring fan motor and uh, it's actually in excellent condition and you can see that there is the belt underneath the top belt operates the governor which is that's driven by the motor down here and the motor also drives this belt up to the uh, the cylinder mandrel and then we are able to uh, basically the powertrain is able to uh, operate like that okay so let me see if I can uh, I should have thought about this before let me see if I can uh, hook up this light here Just apologies here I'm gonna see if I can clip this light onto here it's not cooperating there okay now what I'm gonna do is uh, this runs on about five volts or five, five to six amps you can see that we have a, a modern day uh, uh, charger here and so it's on a timer too so I'm gonna turn the timer on we have it hooked up right here the two leads are here that go to the charger okay so what I'm gonna do is show you uh, what it looks like before we play a, a cylinder so we're gonna put the timer on that's step one we'll set it on about seven minutes okay and then we're gonna come over here so now power is going to these two posts now to connect the power to the motor we move this over and there you can see we have power top side and it's got a relatively quiet motor there you can see the uh, the Graham ring motor working and it's absolutely beautiful running motor for late 1890s technology and it maintains speed fairly well for uh, an old old fan motor okay so let's shut it down okay and when we come back we're gonna play a cylinder on this old old bad boy okay so let me turn this off okay and we'll see you in a couple seconds okay I'll put the works back into the cabinet here and we're gonna play a song or play a cylinder I don't know if it's a song or not <laughs> okay see you in a minute okay everybody I'm back and now for the performance uh, this is going to be I selected out of my collection a two-minute Edison wax cylinder it's by Steve Porter and it's called Flanagan and his money and it's funny as heck um, he's basically a big liar and uh, well let's say he stretches the truth a little bit on this cylinder uh, but it's a very enjoyable cylinder again we're looking at uh, a machine that was handmade uh, 120 years ago or close to it and so it's driven by an ancient Edison fan motor and uh, DC of course and uh, so the speed might vary a little bit folks and but for what it is I hope that most of you will enjoy it okay so let's go and hear what this old bad boy sounds like we're gonna give it some juice we're gonna set the timer for about six minutes plenty of time for a two minute cylinder and we'll move the power on and 
Sometimes it needs a little, there we go. Sometimes it needs a little coaxing. It's so very old. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it, folks. And as always, thanks so very much for stopping in. There it is, folks. Flanagan and his money played on an ancient, homemade, DC-powered, electric, Class M looking machine. Thanks again for stopping in, folks. And I hope that you enjoyed it.